Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to uh, sensors, transducers and instrumentation. So we'll continue our discussion related to level measurement. So far we have discussed the capacitive and inductive method. Here we'll discuss another important method which is with the help of LVDT, Linear Variable Differential Transformer. So here the basic uh, setup of level measurement involves again same principle here uh, we are using a float okay which is placed on the liquid contained in a tank or container and that float the other end is connected to the core movable core of LVDT now we have already discussed about LVDT separately we have made a video related to that I have discussed all the basic things so I want you to please watch that video in detail here I will go in a quick way so LVDT basically is linear variable differential transformer which is basically used to convert linear motion into electrical signal it is used for displacement force pressure acceleration measurement so the basic components of LVDT it is a primary winding which is connected to an AC supply two secondary windings which are connected in series opposition mode differential mode such that the difference between the output voltages appearing across these two windings that is the output voltage that is E1 minus E2 that is the output so the basic working principle of LVDT is such that when this ferromagnetic movable core is at the center okay in this position the degree of coupling of the primary winding which each of these two secondary windings it is the same and in that case both the secondary winding voltages they are the same and the differential output is zero but when the core moves to one of the extreme ends whether to this end left or to right the degree of coupling of the primary winding increases with one of the secondary windings either with uh, this winding or this winding and then there is a non-zero differential output voltage because one of the secondary winding voltages will be greater than the other since we are getting a differential output voltage that is E1 minus E2 so depending on whether E1 is greater than E2 or E2 is greater than E1 we will get a non-zero differential output voltage it can be positive or negative okay so the magnitude of the output voltage will always be the same means in uh, either side when the core will move from the center to either side to left or right as it moves the magnitude at the different positions on either side it will be the same but the sign will be opposite let's say here it is 0 here it is let's say minus 2 at this position it will be plus 2 here let's say it is minus 4 at this extreme position it will be plus 4 like that as it moves from the center and it moves in succession at each points the magnitude on either side the voltage that will be the same but the sign will be opposite because the output voltage is a differential output voltage because it is connected in differential mode so here the same principle is used the float which is placed on the liquid it moves up and down with respect to the liquid level change when the liquid level rises up float moves upward when the liquid level drops down the float moves downward this float as it moves up and down it is connected to this movable core as a result of which this core it moves up and down away from this center position as a result of that there is a change in the degree of coupling of the primary winding with the two secondary windings and we will get a non-zero differential output voltage so depending on the magnitude of the output voltage and its sign we can determine at which position the float is present okay or the core is present so that is the basic operating principle and the output voltage uh, its value it can be determined as per this mathematical formula which is a bit complicated 
so it is given by 16 pi cube f i p n p n s by 10 to the power 9 ln r0 by ri 2 bx by 3 w minus 1 into 1 minus x square by 2b square so it is not necessary to remember this formula but just if you want to have a you know understanding about it so here uh, the small f is the frequency of the ac supply ip is the current flowing through the primary winding then np is the number of turns of the primary winding ns is the number of turns of the secondary winding then uh, b is the width of the primary coil uh, and uh, w is the width of the secondary coil and x is the core displacement that is the position of the core with respect to the center position either side it does not matter what is the position of the core so r0 is the outer radius and ri is the inner radius of the coil so this is the mathematical uh, expression for the output voltage and this is the characteristics so as you can see with respect to displacement on either side okay the magnitude is always the same okay and this is the linear uh, range of the operation of LVDT okay this is the center position and here uh, at the, the output voltage is not exactly zero but a very small value is present initially so this uh, LVDT method which is used for the measurement of displacement that is used here here the up and down movement of the liquid level okay the up and down movement of the liquid that is converted into linear displacement by connecting it to the movable ferromagnetic core of the LVDT so different ways we have uh, discussed in the first method we discussed the capacitive where we connected this float with, to the movable plate of the capacitor in the inductive method we connected it to the movable armature and this we have connected to the movable core so it's all about converting the physical parameter under measurement into suitable movement okay suitable movement so here we have converted into displacement the up and down movement of the LVDT to give us an electrical signal and then the final output it can be passed through several signal conditioning stages then analog to digital conversion to get us a proper digital output which is done mostly these days we have we want to have a proper digital readout so this is the basic principle of uh, level measurement with the help of LVDT. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.